Hello there, I am Giant Grove with more Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we started the Elite Four challenge by taking on the first member of the Elite Four, Elite Four City, the master of uh, dark type Pokemon. There we go, <laughs> I had to think there for a second. And we one shot basically all his Pokemon. In fact, we did one shot every single Pokemon he had. So he had five Pokemon, yeah. So I have a uh, Scream out front, yeah. So let's take on Phoebe, the second member of the Elite Four, use our master of ghost type Pokemon. Let's talk to her. Ah, we're talking to her from the side. Ah, I'm Phoebe of the Leaf Four. I do my tr I did my training on Mount Pyre. While I trained, I gained the ability to commune with Ghost type Pokemon. Yes, I yes the bond and I I let me try that again. Yes, the bond I developed with the Pokemon is extremely tight. So come on, just try and see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokemon. Okay, we'll s we'll see about that. Let's do it. Let's go, man. Let's go. I called Phoebe a man. Okay, let's go, Phoebe. Let's go. That's better. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he starts with Dust Clops. Now, I don't really have a Dark Tech Pokemon in the, or any Dark Tech moves anymore, actually. <laughs> so, and the only effective move I have on a Pokemon that are Ghost Type is a Shadow Ball from uh, Twitch. But Twitch is Psychic Type, so, like, you know, the Ghost Pokemon can just probably use a Ghost Type move like Shadow Ball back on Twitch. So that's why I kind of uh, started with Screamo. I think Screamo still maybe is ghost, but I can't even remember. So I'm gonna just see how much the stealing does. This dust corpse, this dust corpse is level 48 and female, and uh, she has two of these actually. One's level 48, and I think the other one's level 51. So keep that in mind. Dust corpse makes a good Pokemon, honestly. I've never used one in a playthrough before, but I've heard it's really good, especially in like the fourth generation games, like. Dumb from platinum, specifically platinum, because you can actually catch a dusk. You can actually raise a dusk nori and evolve it to dusk clops, or dusk, dusk skull and evolve it to dusk clops, or just a dusk clops, just evolve a dusk clops into a dusk nori. That's only a, that's a, it's a fourth generation exclusive uh, evolutionary uh, Pokemon for that family, for the for the dusk skull family. Because the original third generation is just dusk dusk skull evolves into dusk clops, and that's it. There's no dusk nori. So yeah, let's use the yellow food. Actually, what am I doing in the pockets? Well, so because uh, that dust noir kind of confused, uh, yeah, I kind of confused Screamer. Shadow Punch, okay, it's Ghost move, yeah. Okay, cool. Screamer does resist. Nice, that was a good choice of using Screamer at first in this battle and sending out first. And the leading off with it, yeah. Let's use a nice confuser. Hopefully, another Still Wing faints this thing. It'd be nice. You know, I'm just gonna keep on using my yellow food no matter how many times you can conf confuse my Pokemon. Jeez. Yeah, nice. Future Sight, okay. You gotta watch out because that's a attack that'll happen to one of my Pokemon later on. So that kinda stinks. Aw, oh, Screamo, you missed. Are you kidding me? And you gotta use Confuse Ray again. Come on. Don't waste your time using Confuse Ray and waste my time as well. I mean, come on. I'm just gonna heal confusion with my yellow food. Jeez. Future side, but it failed. Okay, whatever. Yeah, Screamer took the future side attack. No! Okay, fine, I didn't do this. I thought I'd do a little bit more than that, but that's good. Stealing hits this time. Let's get this Dust Cops to off the battlefield, and then, by the way, it fainted. Good. I got my wish. <laughs> okay, at least she's about to use main net. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Metroid and just use Surf on this thing. Bayonets? Bayonets a pure ghost type Pokemon, so like, dark type moves. Or ghost type moves will be super effective on it, but I'm just gonna use Surf on it. Yeah, this uh, Bayonet's level 49 and female, that's pretty cool. Let's see here. Oh man, it doesn't want to kill. Dang it. It's gonna use Spike to, uh, to um, take away PP of Surf. Dang it. Good thing I have all those PP restoring items too in my bag. Let's waterfall with them. Okay, you can use a full restore. I see how you like Phoebe. Fine. It's fine. I mean,. I'm in good shape right now, so do what you gotta do. Let's go see the little waterfall. There we go, nice. Awesome. The bayonet goes down. Sableye. Okay, we're gonna actually stay in with the Metroid. Sableye, since it's a stark and ghost type Pokemon, it doesn't have any weaknesses, but the way you can get to you land a super effective hit on this thing is if you have a Pokemon that has Foresight or Odor Sleuth or something like that that identifies the Pokemon. Then it, that gets rid of its ghost type, uh, half of its um, typing, I'm pretty sure. And then it's left to be a dark type, and then you can use fighting or bug type Pokemon. 
bug type moves to uh, land super effective hits. But I'm just gonna go for a good old surf, see how much it does. Basically, if you don't have a that, you know, foresight or, or um, any of that kind of stuff, then um, just hit it with your most highest attacking moves. So yeah, let's go for the waterfall. Let's get your Shadow Bomb Metroid, but I didn't do too much. So that's good. This Sable is also a little pretty and female if I didn't already mention that. So yeah. Okay, gonna use Bayonet again. I'm gonna stay in with Metroid. Yeah, she only has that Bayonet and then her other Dusk Hops left, so that's good. It's good for the Surf. Oh, I didn't learn my lesson though. It's probably gonna put in the yellow, late yellows or uh, early reds. So where it's gonna, where Phoebe's gonna use a full restore. I should have just used two waterfalls to paint it, you know? Yeah, I knew it. I didn't learn my lesson there, jeez. Because Bayonet, both her Bayonets are level 49 and female, so. Basically the same kind of Pokemon, but just, I think they're both, I think the two of them have different moves or something. I think that also put in the red, shoot. Let's go for the Sludge Bomb, see how much it does. Hopefully it'll faint it. It does, awesome. Nice. I like it. Okay, we have four fever that just Dusk Ops, yes, I'll switch Pokemon. Um... I think I'm gonna go with Smokey. Let's go for the flamethrower, see how much it does. This dust corpse is all 51 in females, that's pretty cool. Nice, nice. This guy's confused, Ray. Of course. You and your confused, Ray. Hi, hi, hi. Let's go for the bag and use a yellow fruit again. There we go, nice. Uh, I forgot I had an earthquake, wow. Okay, yeah. Okay, it didn't do too much though, so that's good. Let's go for the fire. No, let's try another flamethrower actually. I put it in the deep red, so, so that's what I'm worried about. But I think she may be out of heal She may have another full story. I'm not sure. It's gonna confuse me again. It knows it probably can't be my torque or my smoky. So, uh, it's gonna just stall really. Oh, it does a citrus berry. Shoot. Uh, yeah, all the Pokemon, um, like four members, their strongest Pokemon have citrus berries. Ay ay ay, let's go for the yellow food then and I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to finish this with an overheat. I coughed there. I'm gonna try to just finish with the overheat now. So yeah. It's just another earthquake, so that's cool I guess. Yeah. Let's go for the overheat now. It hits, awesome. Let's see how much it does. I hope I didn't knock it out. It does. Some of these fish that country it falls, but um, it's the end of the battle basically, so yeah, it is the end of the battle. Not, some, not basically, it is the end of the battle. We defeated Eagle 4 Phoebe, awesome. Oh darn, I've got, I've gone and lost. Thanks for 10,200 poker dollars. I guess since Screamo was part of the battle, um, it doubled the prize money with the ammo coins, so that's awesome. Yeah. There's a definition, uh, not, there's a definite bond between you and your Pokemon too. I didn't recognize it, so it's only natural that I lost. Yep, I'd like, I'd, sh I'd like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead and move on to the next room. Okay, with pleasure. Thanks, Phoebe. See you later. So this is the third member of the week four, Gla Glacia, I think, if I remember correctly. She, um, you know, she kind of looks like other than the face, she kind of looks like uh, that the mom of Pokey and Picky from Earthbound. If you catch my drift there, I don't know. I'll put PMG of her of Pokey and Picky's mom on screen right now if I can find one. And uh, I, I don't know, it's just kind of other than the face, you know, because you know Pokey and Picky's mom looks like she wears just too much makeup or something. So uh, other than the face, it kind of looks like Pokey or Picky's mom, honestly. Glacia does well. Okay. Anyway, that's what I think though. I could be totally wrong and just like talking on my butt here. It was just like, I'm kind of tired. I got a little sleep the previous night, the day I'm recording this. I'm recording this on uh, March 18th of 2018. And uh, yeah, it's a Sunday. I don't know. Okay, so let's see. Let's just, let's heal up a Pokemon, I guess. So yeah, let's use that. Um, there we go, nice. Let's just use some healing items. There we go, nice. Let's use a Hyper Potion on uh, Metroid. Cool. Now, Glacia is the master of Ice-type Pokemon, so uh, 
We want to put up a fire type or a fighting type or something like that. Or a rock type even. Because that's all super effective against a ice type Pokemon. But I'm going to put Smoke up to the front. So yeah. So this is the end of my Pokemon will be Redo Rock the Part. The next part will take on with the third member of the Leaf 4, Glacia. And uh, she's the master of ice type Pokemon. So yeah. So this has been Janko again. I would like to thank for checking goodbye. And I hope to see you guys next time. My Pokemon will be Redo Walkthrough Guide.